for Christ my Lord The only way to meet my God Washed away my sins for me. Jesus is the Christ, my Lord. The darkness crumbles at His name. Jesus is the Christ, my Lord. King of kings, I will proclaim. Christ, Coward Peter transformed to a brave evangelist. As Simon Peter stood warming himself, he was asked, You are not one of his disciples, are you? He denied it, saying, I am not. One of the high priest's servant, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, challenged him, Didn't I see you with them in the olive grove? Again, Peter denied it. And at that moment, a rooster began to crawl. Young remnants, what image do you have in mind about Peter? Peter, who used to catch many fish at the Sea of Galilee. Disciple Peter, who met Jesus and always accompanied him. Peter, who bravely answered before the question Jesus asked, Who do you say I am? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Peter, who showed miracle in Christ's name to a crippled beggar at the gate of temple. Do you know only these kind of images of Peter? However, the story I'm going to tell you today is totally different side of Peter. After Jesus finished praying at the Garden of Gethsemane, he was taken away by the soldiers who were sent by the high priests and elders. Although our Jesus did not do anything wrong, the chef, priest, and Jewish religious leaders hated Jesus so much. Whenever Jesus said, I am your Savior, who came as the Son of the Creator God, they thought of Jesus unrighteously. Thus, they tried their best to kill Jesus by falsely charging him with sin. On the night when Jesus was interrogated by the chef priest, all of Jesus' disciples ran away, abandoning Jesus. However, the disciple Peter, whom Jesus loved the most, were following Jesus from a distance. Jesus, who came from the world to flesh to this world, continued to tell his disciples, because of original sin of leaving God, being deceived by the Satan, I will die on the cross behalf of you and rise again to be with you forever. However, Peter did not believe in resurrection even after hearing the words of Jesus. How can a person die and come back to life again? That's a nonsense! Like this, he was not able to understand that Jesus will rise again among the dead. Peter followed Jesus to the high priest's courtyard. He was expecting to see what kind of miracles Jesus will perform there. However, very shameful things happened to Peter. The place where Jesus was taken to was the high priest's house. Many people gathered, wondering how Jesus will be interrogated and executed. Peter was also there, of course. Because the weather was chill, people stood around the fire they had made, keeping themselves warm. Peter also went closer to the fire to warm himself. Peter was standing far away and watched Jesus to see the results of any miracle Jesus will perform. He was planning to run away if there is going to be a harm and show himself before people if Jesus did perform a wondrous miracle. That moment, one servant girl who saw Peter's face under the light of the fire said, Oh, aren't you one of the disciples who followed Jesus? Peter startled, and without knowing me, he spoke a lie. I do not know the person called Jesus. After a little while, another person also said, That's right, I clearly saw you with him. Then frightened Peter replied, 
No way! I really don't know him. About an hour passed, and another person said, "I hear your accent, and you're definitely a Galilean. Surely you're the one who was with him." At that moment, Peter shouted with anger, "Hey, you! I'm telling you clearly, I have no idea who he is." After his words, the rooster crowed twice. However, Peter's voice that denied knowing Jesus was caught up by Jesus's ear. At that moment, Jesus turned to Peter, having fire burn between them. Jesus's eye and Peter's eye met exactly. The moment Peter saw Jesus's eye, he was so shocked and ran away. Then, remembering Jesus's words, that Peter. You are going to deny me three times before the rooster crows twice. Peter cried out loudly. <laughs> like this, coward Peter, who only emphasized himself, ended up denying Jesus three times. I, I, me, I am. If I emphasize myself, that is tamed by the liar, greedy one. An alienating devil, I am only bound to be hit by Satan's flaming arrows in a snap and fall. If so, what should our remnants confess? I was born with original sin of being apart from God. To save such person like me, the Creator God came to this world in human body Himself. He is Jesus. Jesus is my Christ. Through Jesus Christ, who pulled me out from the power of sin, death, hell, and Satan that were in my body, I now became a child of God. This confession must flow from you. Jesus, who has finished all the problems through his death on the cross, and was risen again, came to coward Peter, who denied him in the past. Then, after asking Peter three times, "Do you love me?" he said, "Peter, if you love me, you would have crushed Satan's head. You only confess that you love me, but you didn't trample on the serpent's head. That's why you denied me." Peter did spoke confidently. Even all your disciples abandon you. I will follow you to the prison and follow you to the end. Even if you die. However, because of original sin that covers us, we cannot love Jesus. Though invisible Satan, the devil, called emptiness, chaos, and darkness is alive and moving even at this moment, we who left God and are bound by the power of sin, death, and Satan are like fragile reeds that get swayed away by the wind. When dangerous situations come, we are fragile cowards like Peter, who suddenly lies without realizing, "I don't know Christ." That is why God gave us the original gospel, Genesis three fifteen, the offspring of the woman, Messiah Christ, to crush the Satan's head. Peter is no longer a coward. I, who was an enemy against God, holding onto original sin of Genesis three, has crucified Jesus. But God made this Jesus, whom I crucified, both my Lord and Christ. Peter realized and came to believe in this. Peter came to believe in the word of God to crush the head of the serpent, who makes me live as an old self. Being apart from God, with the name of Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, was risen, and is with me, 
through the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the Christ. I am a child of God. All problems are solved. Devil be gone. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. He became a wonderful evangelist who truly loves Jesus Christ, making these five confessions. Thus, Peter proclaimed confidently and boldly to a crippled man, sitting and begging under the temple gate. He said, Silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. Coward Peter, who denied Jesus three times, has transformed and continued fighting spiritual battle that overcomes himself, Satan, and the world with the name of Messiah Christ, the offspring of the woman of Genesis 3.15. At the high priest's courtyard, the place where he denied Jesus in the past, Peter said very boldly and courageously before many people, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. Peter, who was such a coward, has transformed as a wonderful and courageous evangelist. He crushed the head of the devil, who always made him deny Christ with the true King Christ. He removed all curses and disasters that are in his body with true priest Christ. He gained victory in spiritual battle to be with God through true prophet Christ. Now, our remnants also realize that Jesus, whom we crucified, is our Lord and Christ, and became to accept Him and become God's children. If so, from today, we must have true peace within Christ and continue to fight the spiritual battle of breaking down the devil's work. And I bless you to become courageous spiritual summits who advance to the ends of the earth, shining the light of Christ to 237 nations, being filled solely by the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, like coward Peter, who denied Jesus, transformed to a courageous evangelist in Christ. Thank you for giving me the power of Christ to break down the devil's work by knowing that Jesus, whom I crucified, is my Lord, Christ, and accepting him now. May I become a spiritual summit who shines the light of Christ to 237 nations and advance to the ends of the earth through the spiritual battle that overcomes myself, Satan, and the world every day. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen.